The science that deals with animals, the domesticated animals is the animal husbandry. In animal husbandry, we take care of, as they say, feeding, breeding, heeding and weeding of the animals. Now, which animals are important? Of course, the cattle which give us milk and in some religions even their meat and also they are used as labor in the farms. Now, this cattle farming is what is the rearing of cattle and it is a very important part of our white revolution as well as green revolution. White revolution is the production of milk. We have been really able to increase the production of milk in recent years. For this, what we do is that first of all we understand what kind of cattle are there and how they can be classified. They are classified into three categories. First is the milch animals. Milch animals are those animals which yield milk like cow and buffalo. The scientific name of cow is Bos indica while that of buffalo is Bos babulus. So, both cow and buffalo are very important for giving milk. Then there are dual animals. In the dual animals, the female is used for giving milk and male is used in the farm. And the draft animals are used in the farms like bulls. The lactation period is the period when the female is able to yield milk. It produces milk that is certainly after the birth of calf. The length of the lactation period is that what that de determines the milk yield. So, if the lactation period is long, the milk production will be long. You see there are two type of varieties. The exotic varieties are like Jersey cow or the brown Swiss cow. They have long lactation period. While the indigenous varieties like Sindhi, Sahiwal, they have shorter lactation period. So, we choose that variety which has a longer lactation period. Another important thing for lactation is food or the feeding. The normal feeding or the feed of a cattle is grass, not really. If we want only food for maintenance, then probably this much of food is enough. But we also want high yield of milk, not only high yield, good quality of milk. So, that is why the feed has to contain both concentrates as well as roughage. The feed is divided into two parts. Concentrate is those food items which are rich in one or more nutrients like protein, fat, etc. For the purpose of protein, we provide them with gram or alpha alpha, the leguminous crops. And for fat, we provide them with cotton seed cakes, the oil seed cakes. So, they provide fat to them. So, concentrate is very important because it is rich in nutrients and it will improve the quality of the milk. Second is roughage. Roughage provides fiber and it prevents constipation. So, for smooth running of the digestive system, roughage is very important which is provided by the grass. Just like human beings, animals also need balanced diet. Not only they need balanced diet, they also need good heating con conditions. Heating means shelter. So, just as our house has to be hygienically maintained, the shed, the cattle shed also should be hygienically maintained. There should be proper containers for removing their excreta and urine and usually their floor is sloping so that the water can run off and not stagnate. There are no pests, there is enough space, it is well ventilated just like our own house. You see India has also a culture of really looking after the animals, especially cow, we consider it our mother. Basically, it only teaches us that we have to be kind to animals just like we are kind to other human beings, if we are that is. So, heeding is 
proper shelter and then of course breeding is there that is what evolving new varieties which are disease resistant as well as give more milk and then finally it is weeding when an animal becomes old and sick then it is uneconomical so then it can be used for some other purposes to prevent weeding what we need to do is take care of their health how do we come to know that an animal is sick just like we come to know about ourselves if an animal's posture is not right it is dull lazy it's not eating food it has fever or it has diarrhea or constipation then that means it is a sick animal even the coat becomes dull so from this we can come to know that an animal is sick and the common diseases of animal are like anthrax it is a bacterial disease or the foot and mouth disease it is caused by virus there is also cowpox again virus so we have to provide them vaccination also we have to identify the sick animal also and then separate it why so that it doesn't spread disease to others and also give them the the curative measures like antibiotics so the health of the animal is maintained by these simple steps